Example 3, I'm just start chapter flat plane. Okay, in this question, in this example, we will use, uh, we will uh, try to uh, answer question relate to preventions of fire hazard in the event of oil leakage. So this is the question. Question is a little bit long and we have to uh, read it through one by one and try to find uh, all the information given in the question. Okay. Heat dissipate from an engine in operation can cause hot spots on its surface. If the outer surface of an engine is situated in a place where oil leakage is possible, then when leak oil comes in contact with hot spots, above the oil's auto ignition temperature, it can ignite spontaneously. Consider an engine cover that is made of stainless steel plate with a thickness of one centimeter. So this is the first information. Okay. I use a blue color. Okay, this is the first information, thickness of one centimeter then they are using standard steel plate okay and a thermal conductivity of 14 watt per meter kelvin okay the thermal conductivity of a steel plate is already been given in the question the standard steel plate is covered with a 5 mm thick insulation okay we have standard steel plate and then it is covered on top of the steel plate with insulator which is a uh, 5 mm thickness of insulator I'm really sorry this is equal equal to 0 0.5 watt meter per kelvin uh, watt per meter kelvin this is the thermal conductivity for a uh, standard steel plate cover okay insulator the inner surface of the engine cover is exposed to hot air. So this is degree Celsius. Sorry, it's a lot of typo. So 350 degrees Celsius with a convection heat transfer coefficient H value for uh, inside, okay, fluid inside the uh, inside the engine has been given with 7 watt per meter square dot Kelvin. This is the heat transfer coefficient inside of the engine cover. The 2 meter long engine outer surface is cooled by air blowing in parallel over it at 7 meter per second. Okay. Uh, on the top of uh, engine cover, there will be a uh, insulator and then it will be uh, cooled by uh, the air blowing uh, parallel over it okay in an environment where the ambient air is at 60 degree Celsius this is temperature infinity for fluid outside okay to prevent fire hazard in the event of oil leak on the engine cover the engine cover surface should be kept below 180 degree Celsius. Means that temperature for the insulator must be kept below than 100 degree Celsius to prevent fire hazard. Okay. It has been determined that the 5 mm thick insulation layer Okay, it's not sufficient to keep the engine cover surface below 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, to solve this problem, one of the plant supervisors suggested adjust, adjusting the blower capacity. They adjust the blower capacity where the blower will blow air parallel over a flat plate. 
to provide an increase in the cooling air velocity by 10%. Okay, this plant supervisor suggests by increasing fluid velocity or the cooling air velocity by 10%, it will uh, prevent fire hazard from happen, okay, from occur in, in the event of oil leak. Okay, that means if this is viable method for keeping the engine cover surface below 100 degrees Celsius. Sorry, this is typo. This is 180 degrees Celsius. Evaluate the air properties at 120 degrees Celsius. So, our job is to find what is the temperature surface of insulator when the fluid velocity or the air blow, cooling air velocity increased by 10%. Is it sufficient for the uh, engine cover surface uh, cap below the 180 degrees? So this is all the uh, information for the thermal conductivities of standard steel insulation and the properties of air bandwidth at PF and then K. All these from all these properties are from table A5. Okay, this is the figure for the airflow and all of that uh, all of uh, information uh, given in the question. Okay, so before that, we take a look at all the information and we draw this figure and then we take a look at all the information given. Eh? So first is 300, we take a look at inside of this engine cover. We have 350 degrees Celsius fluid temperature. So this is T infinity. I know it as T infinity I inside, okay? And this is heat transfer coefficient inside HI. Okay, we have engine cover, and then this is insulator, okay, insulation, and airflow at 60 degrees Celsius. But at this point, we do not know what is the H value for the airflow, H out. We do not have this value. So what we are going to do is we have to find what is the heat transfer coefficient for the airflow. Okay, that is the first one that we need to H out to, uh, to solve. And second, we have to determine whether T surface, so this is T surface out. Okay, T surface out is T uh, surface at insulator. T surface out, is it sufficient or is it below than 100 degrees Celsius or not? So that is what we are going to determine and we are going to calculate it. Calculate and uh, we compare with this value, okay? First, we have to determine what is H up. Before that, can we draw a thermal resistance network before we answer the uh, heat transfer coefficient and out, uh, heat HO? Okay, first here inside the engine cover. So what will happen here? The mechanism for the heat transfer will be convection. Okay, because there is a fluid motion inside. And then second is engine cover. This is solid. Then if the solid, we have conduction mechanism here. Third is here, insulator, we have conduction. 
And the last one from the isolator to the ambient or air blower, air flow. This is convection mechanism. Okay, as we can see here, the temperature inside is 350 degrees Celsius and temperature outside is 60 degrees Celsius. The Q will be from inside to outside. This is Q, heat transfer. Rate of heat transfer will be from 350 degrees to 60 degrees. So when we draw a thermal resistor network, so we are start with 350 degrees Celsius. And then we have line. We, then we have resistance for a convection. So resistance first is our convection. And then they move to this point, to this point. So at this area conduction will be happen occur okay happening so we have conduction at engine cover okay r steel because engine cover is made of steel then i will put steel r steel okay third conduction insulator Okay, the third one is R insulator is, is conduction and then last is convection so this is R convection out okay this is R convection in I so the last temperature will be 60 degrees Celsius so this is the more resistant network you have to find uh, all these resistance in order to calculate Q dot, okay, rate of heat transfer for this uh, question. Okay, so first, we know that we have to determine the value for the heat transfer coefficient. Therefore, for the first, uh, for for the first thing that I need to do is to find what is the heat transfer coefficient. Heat transfer coefficient at outlet, eh? H outlet. Okay, how to find the heat transfer coefficient? So before this, there is there are uh, a few equations that we can use in order to determine the Nusselt number because because to determine heat transfer coefficient we are required to determine the Nusselt number of that question. Okay, from the question we know that this is average Nusselt number because we have to find the Nusselt number for the entire. Flat cover, uh, the entire flat plate, which means the entire engine uh, insulator, where the insulator covered the engine fully. And then we have to determine what is the uh, average Nusselt number across this flat plate. Okay, to determine Nusselt number, average Nusselt number, we already know there is uh, a few questions, uh, a few equations. Uh, that might be that can be used in order to determine the Nusselt number, but before that we have to determine what is the Reynolds number. So before this, we know that in the question, the plant supervisor is already uh, states that by increasing the air flow velocity, flow velocity by ten percent, it will prevent fire hazard. So, velocity O for the air flow, uh, air flow is 7. Oh, sorry. 
seven meter per second. If we increase by ten percent, therefore V nu will be one point one times with seven meter per second. It will become seven point seven meter per second. But you can calculate calculate it uh, one by one you uh, calculate 10 percent times with seven and then you add with seven you will get this value after you know the airflow velocity you have to calculate what is the Reynolds number l for this uh, question for the airflow therefore uh, in this question uh, the most uh, Suitable form of Reynolds equation is Vx over V. So we plug in all the value inside. So 7.7 .7 meter per second we times with 2 meter is the length of uh, engine cover and then divide by Kinematic viscosity 2.522 times 10 to the power of minus 5 meter square per second. So we get the Reynolds number is 610626. Or we can uh, turn it into another form, which is 6.1 uh, times 10 to the power of 5. This is the Reynolds number. So next, what we are going to do is we have to compare this Reynolds number with Reynolds number critical. So we have to compare with Reynolds number critical. We know that Reynolds number critical is 5 times 10 to the power of 5. Therefore, we know that 6.1 times 10 to the power of 5 is much more greater than Reynolds number critical. Therefore, we might conclude that this is turbulent, turbulent flow. Okay? But at this point, we cannot directly use turbulent equation even Reynolds number L passes Reynolds number critical. So let's take a look at X critical. So we calculate X critical. So from Reynolds number critical, we know that uh, velocity times width X critical divided by kinematic viscosity. We rearrange this equation to get X critical equation. So Reynolds number critical times with kinematic viscosity divided by oh sorry V velocity. So we substitute all the values inside. So we substitute. So kinematic viscosity would be 2.522. Times 10 to the power of minus 5 divided by 7.7 .7 for the velocity. So we get this value is about 1.638 meter for the x critical. So, okay, so flat plate length is 2 meter, or engine cover is 2 meter in length. Therefore, okay, therefore, proper equation to be used in order to find Nusselt number is combined Nusselt number where the lamina and turbulent flow are significant where the equation is Nusselt number equal to 0 0.037 Reynolds number L power of 0 0.8 minus 871 hundred number 1 over 3. 
Okay, x critical is 1.638 meter. So this means that for a 2 meter engine cover, 1.638 meter is a laminar flow region. Okay, laminar flow region. And 2 minus this value is turbulent flow. And previously, we know that after we calculate the Reynolds number L, we know that the value is for turbulent flow. But wait, we, we have to calculate what is the critical value or the critical length for the flat plate. And then we know that after we calculate, the X critical is 1.638 meter, where this is laminar flow region occur. And then therefore, we know by this, we can conclude and we can use a proper equation where combined uh, laminar and turbulent flow equation must be used in order to determine what is the Nusselt number for this question. Okay, so we use the Nusselt number and then we will plug in all the value. So Nusselt number is equal to 0, 0.0. 37 times with 166 to 6 for Reynolds number power of 0 0.8 okay and then we minus 871 times with 0 0.7073 for the branded number power of 1 over 3 Therefore, we get Nusselt number is equal to 625.77. So from here, we have to determine what is the heat transfer coefficient for the outside. Okay, to determine what is the heat transfer coefficient, we have to use this equation. Nusselt number equal to HL over K or HX over K. So rearrange this equation. H here is H outside. HO. Rearrange HO equal to Nusselt number times with K divided by L. So our Nusselt number is 6 to 5. 0.77 times with the value of k is 0 0.032 watt per meter dot kelvin and divided by 2. 2 is the length of engine cover. Okay, HO. So HO is 10.12 to what per meter square dot Kelvin. We already solved for heat transfer coefficient for the air flow. Now we move to the second step where we need to find. T as up, T surface up. This T surface is at insulator. Okay, previously we already draw a thermal resistance network where from inside and then we have convection resistance R convection I and then we have conduction from engine cover R steel and then we have conduction in R insulator in insulator so I put it as R insulator resistant and then last is convection at air flow so this is our convection. 
protection up. Okay, R protection up, R convection up. So the temperature that we want to do, we want to calculate is at here. So this is temperature where we need to determine whether by increasing the airflow by 10%, this TSO will be uh, kept below than 180 degrees Celsius. So this is 60 Celsius. So what you are going to do, you have to calculate one by one resistance. Here in this thermal resistor network, we have one, two, three, and four resistance, and we need to calculate one by one resistance for uh, this thermal resistance. So I calculate R convection in the equal to the equation is one over HI times width area AS surface area. So we will get one. Divide by, we already been given the value for the HI. HI is 7 watt per meter square dot Kelvin times with AS. Okay, so here we get 0 0.1429 AS minus 1. We cannot solve for the area because there is no dimension given in the question. Therefore, we remain AS as AS. So negative 1 means that AS position would be below this 0 0.1429. So next is R steel, resistance for the steel. This is a flat plate, therefore we use L over K AS. So length for the engine cover is 0 0.01 meter divided by the K. It's already been given in the question. 14, sorry, 14 watt per meter dot Kelvin times with AS. So we get this value is 7.1429 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Again, AS will remain as AS. Okay, we cannot solve the area because there is no dimension given for the AS. Okay, next we find we try calculate for the R insulator. So R insulator is a conduction, then we use conduction for a flat plate, which is the equation is uh, the same as uh, what we use in R steel. So KAS. And length for the insulator is 0 0.005. Okay, divided by K, the conductivity for the insulator is 0 0.5 watt per meter dot Kelvin and again times with the area, surface area. And we get this equal to 0 0.01 and again, AS cannot be calculated because there is no dimension given to find area. And the last one is R convection out. Okay, we use 1 over H out A S. This is why we calculate for H out at the beginning because we want to use the heat transfer coefficient inside the R convection out. And then we calculate, we substitute all the value. 10.122 watt per meter square dot Kelvin times with AS. Okay, so we get this value equal to 0 
a s minus one. So we cannot solve again. We cannot solve the AS because there is no dimension given. And after that, we calculate for R total. You have to sum up all the R resistance for convection inside steel, insulated and convection up. So R convection I plus R steel plus R insulator and NAS plus R convection up. So after you sum up you will get the value for this is 0 0.2524 AS minus 1. So this is R Okay. To prevent uh, fire hazard, engine outer surface temperature, which is TSR, must be lower than 180 degrees Celsius. TSR must be lower than 180 degrees Celsius. That's why we need to find what is the temperature, surface temperature for insulator. Okay. And uh, we will use this equation. First is Q dot equal to H out. Okay, A as T surface minus T infinity. T surface. This is T surface out. Okay. So we have insulator. Right, this is insulator and then T S out. Insulator and then engine cover. So engine cover we insulator. So here is T S out, this is T infinity out. So this actually this is actually T infinity out. So this equation can be formed into so we know that we use resistance, therefore this. Equation becomes T S out tolak T minus T infinity out divided by R convection out. Okay, that is the equation for this part convection. Okay, and then uh, to determine rate of heat transfer from inside to outside, we will use Q dot equal to T infinity I inside is here is T infinity I and then the Q will be transferred from inside to outside so this is Q rate of heat transfer minus with T infinity out okay T infinity I minus T infinity out and we divide by R total. So R total is already been calculated before, and then R convection also uh, already calculated uh, previously. Okay, already calculated. And then before this, we know in we know that the rate of heat transfer is constant throughout. Uh, the rate of heat constant, uh, the rate of heat transfer is constant, therefore Q dot is constant. Okay, so I denote this, I change this into Q dot convection because we focus more on convection up, so I change this Q dot into Q dot convection up. And we know that Q dot is constant, therefore. Therefore, Q dot convection out is equivalent to Q dot. So Q dot convection out is equivalent to Q dot. So we can equate both equation and uh, find T S out. So we equate both equation. 
So T T S out minus T infinity out divided by R convection out equal to T infinity I minus T infinity out divided by R total. Okay. Rearrange and uh, make T S out is equal to what? So T S out equal to so we rearrange eh? we get T infinity I minus T infinity out okay okay divided by r total and times with r convection out plus e infinity Okay, rearrange above equation to be like this. Okay, then we substitute all the values that we get before, that we already calculated before. Eh? So, T infinity I is 350 minus 60 divided by R total 0.25. A as minus one. Okay. Times with R convection out. R convection out also has been calculated before and then we get zero point zero nine eight eight A minus A as minus one. So plus T infinity is t infinity uh, sorry t infinity out okay plus t infinity out is 60 degree celsius okay and then from here we can see that this is a s okay I change the color of the pen to make it uh, much more presentable so this is a s minus 1 and then this is a s minus 1 so here if we know that these two, two notation can be cancelled out so we can cancel out this a s and a s so therefore the temperature as a surface for the out, outer surface would be no uh, a s term okay because it's already been cancelled out during our calculation. So T S R we get from this equation is 173.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, from this we know that this value is actually below than 180 degrees Celsius. And what is your, uh, take a look at the question. And then what is uh, suggested by plant supervisor can be, uh, is proven effective to prevent fire hazard. Okay, so that's all for example three. Thank you.